To identify the number of solutions possible in a system of equations, the easiest thing to do is first write both equations in y equals mx plus b form, and then I'll show you how we can identify the number of solutions by taking a look at the slope and the y-intercept. So let's take our first equation here, 2x minus 5y equals 2, and write it in y equals mx plus b form. So first thing we'll do is subtract 2x from both sides. That will give us negative 5y equals negative 2x plus 2, and then we'll divide both sides by negative 5, and we'll get y equals 2 fifths x minus 2 fifths. So our m here is m equals 2 fifths, and b, b is negative 2 fifths. Then for our other equation, all we need to do to put it in y equals mx plus b form is subtract 4x from both sides, so we'll get y equals negative 4x plus 5. So the m here is negative 4, and the b is 5. Now if we take a look at this other information I put over here on the graph, we can see some different cases. If our two lines were to plot um, on the graph and they were parallel, like they are here in yellow, then the m's, the slopes, would be the same because as each one rises and then runs to get from point to point, the other one does exactly the same thing. It goes up the same amount and over the same amount so that the two lines are always parallel. That would mean that there wouldn't be any solutions because there wouldn't be any places where the two lines actually crossed. The other possibility that's similar is when the m, the slope, is the same, but the y-intercept is also the same this is actually two different lines and they're just on top of each other so when they're right on top of each other they have the same y-intercept they cross in the same place and their slope is the same as one goes up and over the other goes up and over and any point that's on one line is going to be on the other line because the two lines are on top of each other so whereas here we had zero solutions zero solutions put in parentheses. Here we have infinite solutions. You can have as many solutions as you want because the two lines are right on top of each other. Here we have a single solution. This is where the m, the slope, is inverse, the negative inverse in one equation or the other. So for instance maybe one m is negative two-fifths and the other m is five-halves. So upside down, fraction-wise, and one is negative, one is positive. If that's the case, then there's a single solution and the two lines actually meet at a 90 degree angle. So there's one solution. And then for the last option here, we have different m's, and any time the m, the slope, is different, then you have two lines that are skew. That means that the two lines cross in one place and only one place, um, and as long as the slopes are not actually negative inverses of each other, they don't cross at 90 degree angles. But there is only one solution. So if we look at our two example ones here, we see that our m is different. We have two-fifths for one of them, and we have negative four for the other. So we have a case that's either here or here, and since negative four is not the negative inverse of two-fifths, what we have is a case where the lines are skew, like they are in this example, and there's one solution.